Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and once you know it, a few days after I make a video for the hamster wheel, there's an update to it that adds one thing in particular I really want to show off. So we're going to Grid Small up here because we need a big, wide open area to play around in. How ironic is that? It's called small, but really it's huge. I mean, it's small compared to what? I, I don't know because it's just so big. So anyways, we're going to spawn one hamster wheel, then we're going to spawn vehicle, and then we're going to have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and make this vehicle a little bit faster. We'll use the off-road edition because we'll probably need the ground clearance. And let's make it some a reddish pink kind of color. Eh, it mostly looks pink. Oh well, that's fine. It's not quite the Pepto-Bismol truck though, that's for sure. It's too dark. And let's try to go up a ramp and fail miserably because I cannot ramp at all. Let's try that again. There we go. I ramped. There we go. So we're going to go and spin this wheel up a bit slowly slowly it's always a pain to spin the wheel up it's actually really hard because the camera is just all over the place so like, I'm going this way no camera stop I'm going this way no stop and the other thing is this camera doesn't work well either because you it's it, it, once you're above a certain point you can't tell if you're about to flip over or if you're just barely on the um, above the level like right here am I upside down I don't know nope I wasn't but it's hard to tell it's hard to know so anyways we're just spinning this thing up though as I complain I wonder if this camera would work. No, I can't see nothing from that camera. This camera, uh, nope, can't see nothing. See, all the camera angles suck. Let's use this one, I guess, for now. And we got the wheel actually spun up at a decent speed. I was going for maybe 80 miles per hour, so that's, we're getting there. Hold it for a little bit longer and we'll be, there we go, we're at about 80. At least according to that speedometer, I don't know how accurate it is, but that is what I'm using and we're at 80, so I'm happy. So we're going to go ahead and hit J to freeze physics. Hit tab to be the wheel, and then we hit the break all breakers button, and this, this is what happens. Look at that. Oh my goodness, camera. Well, I don't know what the camera did. It's like, oh, I'm going this way. But, aside from the camera freaking out, look at that. The wheel will roll. All on its own. And now the truck fell out. How unfortunate. Let's go ahead and respawn that up, and uh, try to drive in it after it's off of the uh, stage. So I don't know how I'm driving in it already. Go ahead and break all brake groups, and try to drive in it. Oh, it's slow. Maybe it's just because we're getting started. Come on. Come on, wheel. There you go. Get some speed. All right. That's good. Ooh, that sounds really rough. The engine just... Man, it sounds really rough going through this thing. I don't know why. You would think it'd be pretty smooth, but apparently not. We got it moving, though. We got it up to about 20 miles per hour. I don't know if it's going to go much faster than this, though. It kind of feels like we're topping out in terms of speed right now. And in reality, if you look at the grid, we are not going that fast. It is a real slow speed. But it is a big object moving, so at least that kind of makes up for it. What happens if we get ran over by it? Let's see if we run ourselves over. Oh, 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 it just stopped it, kind of. It doesn't have much weight behind it, does it? It didn't really crush me. It just kind of sat on me. Which is just disrespectful. It's not even mean or anything. It's just disrespecting me by sitting on my head. How dare you? I'm going to shove you along. Because I don't know what else to do. And oh no, I'm ruining my hood. Poor thing. Aw, oh, poor hood. Oh well. So you can push it along too, but eh, again, we're not going that fast. Obviously, we need a more powerful vehicle to go fast. So let's uh, respawn them both and use something more powerful. Like the drag truck. That thing has power. Let's go ahead and make this one yellow. I don't know. Just get some color. Man, it's just white cars and a white background. It's just, ugh. Oh, this is going to be hard to keep up, right? Oh, my goodness. Why did I choose such a fast truck? Oh, well. So let's try spinning it up and then letting it go again from a faster speed. See if it goes much better. I know a lot of momentum. Well, a lot of the speed, I should say, is totally lost when you drop the wheel spinning. But I think some of it is, enough of it is saved where it should go farther this time if we have a faster truck in here to start things up. Why is it not shifting? Weird. Okay. That's unusual. What version do I have of the truck? That is not the version I wanted. I wanted the two-wheel drive wheelie truck. Not the uh, one-gear weird thing. Try that way. There we go. It's because that one was topping out. It wasn't going to get me fast enough. This one has speed to spare.
Alright, we got up to 160. Not bad. I'm going to get, I want to get about 200 consistent speed on the truck before we let off. So we're really close to that. I think we're just about hit it. Mmm, yep, we're good. That is the speed that I want to be at. So we're going to freeze physics, hit break all brake loops, and see what this does. Oh, it just said goodbye truck. But it really didn't go that far. The wheel itself did not go that far. Where did my truck go? Truck? Truck? Oh, that is the truck. It looks pretty beat up. Uh, but the wheel itself didn't go very far, and it rolled onto its side. So that's uh, unfortunate. What if we tried driving inside the wheel? Will that get us anywhere? Slowly, but this one has more power, so it might be able to maintain better speed. I don't know. Oh, but it is really rough on the inside. I forgot about that. Oh, really rough. Uh-oh. I think it might be going slightly faster, but it's so slight, it's really insignificant. There we go. There's some speed. Okay, it's a little bit, but it's really not impressive. It's not impressing me at all. So let's try something else. Let's try... How about this? What if we put a steamroller in it? That thing's heavy enough to maybe uh, not care about the bumps. It might just go driving through anyways. That's what my, I think my thoughts are. Are you actually spawned on it or are you in it? I don't know if that steamroller is good. I'm going to respawn it real quick. That's good. Now we break all brake groups and drive. Oh. Oh. I don't know if this is working. Oh, it's working. It is definitely working. Feels like we're moving at a decent pace already. I think this works. I mean, yeah, we're not going that fast, but at least we have some weight behind us. Which might, This might make it where if we hit a car, it'll actually crush it because it has all the weight of a steamroller. So I basically just made a giant steamroller. In a way. That's kind of what I just did, if you think about it. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch over to a car. So, whoop. We have to spawn it first, but go ahead and spawn a car. Hopefully it's not stuck in the wheel. Oh, it is just, just a little bit. That's not good. Move it to right in front of the wheel. A little bit in front of it. And let's try crushing it. Where is the steamer? Okay. Whoop, nope. It's no good. And the steamroller was still accelerating, by the way. The AI was putting full throttle on it. It just didn't care. And apparently the idiotic uh, transmission doesn't know how to shift properly. Because it was going into reverse the second I looked away. I don't know what happened there. Alright, let's try to come up on this car and just crush him. Please get crushed. Camera sucks. I can't see nothing. Right, I can kind of see where I'm going. And I don't know how to control which direction we go. I can just only hope that we hit the car that I put over there to run over. All I can do is hope. Unfortunately, I don't know if hoping is going to be enough. It looks like we might miss. I don't. It's hard to tell. Slowly moving, but hopefully it'll crush it this time. I don't know. I don't think it's going to hit it, is it? Oh, it will. Oh, it's totally fine. Run it over, run it over. See, no! No good! And then the clutch is freaking out here. Come on, crush it! Crush it! Crush it, crush it, crush it! There you go, a little bit, nope. No good. It's no good! Come on, come on, just a little bit more! Oh! It's not happening. It's not happening. It won't get crushed. It's just, it won't work for me. It just barely doesn't have enough power. Um, but that really is the major change to the wheel that I wanted to show you. I don't think there's really any other changes. And so that's kind of a short video, but that's uh, all I have to really, that's all I really wanted to do with this. So, until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.